The Chernobyl disaster had far-reaching impacts, not just on human health, but also on the environment. The exclusion zone, a 30-kilometer radius around the plant, remains largely uninhabited. This area has surprisingly become a haven for wildlife. Without human interference, many animal species have returned and are thriving. Studies have shown that while some animals exhibit signs of radiation exposure, overall biodiversity has increased. The area has become a unique, if unintended, nature reserve. The health impacts of the Chernobyl disaster are still being felt today. Thousands of people have died as a result of radiation exposure, and many more suffer from chronic health issues, including cancer, thyroid disease, and cardiovascular problems. The psychological toll is also significant, with many people experiencing anxiety, depression, and trauma related to the disaster and its aftermath. In response to Chernobyl, many countries reviewed and strengthened their nuclear safety regulations. The disaster highlighted the need for robust safety protocols, better emergency preparedness, and transparent communication with the public. The World Association of Nuclear Operators WANA was established in 1989 to promote the safe and reliable operation of nuclear power plants worldwide. This organization facilitates the sharing of best practices and lessons learned from incidents like Chernobyl. Today, Chernobyl is a place of interest for scientists and tourists alike. Researchers continue to study the long-term effects of radiation on the environment and human health. Tourists visit the site to learn about the history of the disaster and witness the eerie, abandoned town of Pripyat. The site has become a symbol of human resilience, scientific inquiry, and the ongoing quest for safety in nuclear energy. As we look to the future, let us remember the lessons of Chernobyl and strive to ensure that such a catastrophe never happens again.